Welcome to Legible Graffiti. Today we're going to learn how to make a paper necklace in 3D. First thing you're going to need when you're making a necklace is an original flat design. You're going to take something flat like names and you're going to make it in 3D. And I'm going to show you how step by step. This is just a preview. A flat alphabet like this one is important for a 3D letter construction because you're going to need this as your base. It's going to be your ground floor if you are going to make a building. Supplies you'll need, a light board or a window to be able to see your image, markers, pencils, or crayons to be able to write with, and lots of paper. Here are some examples of 3D name designs I've made in the past. This one for the name AJ looks like Legos. This design kind of looks like Jello. Legible graffiti steps one through six at a glance. Step one, you're going to copy your original design. If the dots are the original design, the solid lines are going to represent what you've traced in order to make these blocks. You're going to use the original design throughout this process. In step two, we're moving the copy for an angle. In this case, the angle went up to the left. For step three, we're just connecting corners. And in this little icon right here, I use all these lines to show what direction those connecting corners would be. Step four is just following the outer edge. With step five, we're adding details. And step six, we're going to color it. Going back to step one, step one takes the longest, especially if you're copying words instead of just one letter at a time. But step two takes the shortest time. For me, it usually takes a split second because once you move the image, you're pretty much ready to go on to steps three and four. For step three, connecting those corners. And step four, following the outer edge of the design together steps three and four block flat shapes and all steps five and six are going to do are add finishing touches to your design to me legible graffiti is 3d letter construction made easy it's like a three-dimensional dot to dot by using a light source which is pretty much the training wheels for doing a dot to dot it's going to be fun Here's one of my practice sample pages. A quick tip, whatever has been done to this letter C can be done to any letter, any number, any symbol. Feel free to try it often. I like to use more than one image on a piece of paper so that I don't waste paper. And this way I can practice a lot. What you'll see here is some stacking. That's one of the good features that legible graffiti allows you to do to create these designs. For a necklace, we started with the flat design. Then we blocked it once we moved it for an angle. We followed the outer edge. We connected the corners. Once we have it blocked, we created a shadow beneath it, still using the stencil underneath it. So for all of this, you're gonna see a lot of the same letters used over and over and over. With details and color added to this necklace design, it's now complete. When you're just learning, practice, practice, practice. Create some more 3D letter designs. Have fun with it. Make some name necklaces for your friends and family. Enjoy. This is the demonstration portion of my necklace video. First things first, we've got everything but the E drawn in. So the longest part of legible graffiti is transferring that original design onto your new piece of paper. Once you have that original design copied, the other step should go quickly. Because step two, move copy for angle. We're just gonna move it around. And yeah, you see all the letters move around. That, that's the nice thing about this, this process. If you space them out right, and they're linked together with the original beneath it, and I'm using a clear transparency sheet 
to protect my original image as well as the surface of my drafting table for the lines. So if we're gonna start off hollow, first things first, we're gonna need to move it and then we're gonna need to redraw it one more time. Because to make a hollow design, we need to make sure that we've copied the original twice in two different directions, because then we're gonna link them. One of these letters right here, one of these E's, we'll have to decide is gonna be our base to anchor the other lines to. So one will be the top, one will be the bottom. And now once we have it, and we've decided which one we wanna use, whether it's on the bottom or it's on the top, then we just need to connect our lines. And then we'll have something hollow, like this one right here. It can get complicated because this corner right here is underneath this beam or the lower portion of the E. And when we make it hollow, we have to go all the way through it. But when we want to make a solid block, that would be something that we would not want to go through. So we'd want to be careful with it. And then this line is going to come down here. This line will connect here. And we're just going through the whole entire design, whether we go clockwise or counterclockwise. Whichever way we use, it should connect everything up. So now that we have it hollow, we could then trace these onto something else and decide that we want to make them solid. So we line it back up. Let's try the letter C. For this one, let's not make it hollow. Let's make it nice and solid. We're going to connect this corner right here and that corner right there. When we put it back onto our original design, we can see that we're going to project upward and from the right. Bring it back in. We're going to connect this corner right here. We're going to connect this inside corner right there. Now we can follow the edge for both of these of our original using our original like it's training wheels, like a guide. Bring all our lines down. Once we move it back up or back down onto the original so that we can hide it and see our block, it's very solid. Now we need to do it. Following these same lines that we've made here, all of our lines are gonna go the same direction. We just connect the rest of our corners and we have that. So now it's blocked. We've done steps one, two, three, and four. Try it one more time with this letter K, but we'll go from a different direction. Let's go right here connect these. It connects. I'm just going to connect the corners first. Step three. Now that all my connect corners are connected. Right here, I can't go all the way through because we have this leg of the K blocking our direction. It's an obstacle. So we can only go right to about right here. And then if we were to check it, we're going to slide it back onto our original to see where they would go. And since that works, now all we have to do is step four. Follow the outer edge. And then once this is done, once steps three and four, connect corners and follow the outer edge, are complete, our letter is blocked. Now all we need to do is step five, add details, and step six, color. So we could color the inside. I'm just going to use some stripes to give it some definition. And then I think I'm going to add one more line through it using my original again to kind of split this design in half down the center just to make it different than our other ones. And that's really all there is to it. When you practice, don't just do one letter on the page. Do a couple, but spread them out. The closer you make them, the more obstacles you're going to have to deal with. So spread them out. That way you have some really nice designs. Like that. And here's another one. Going in a direct, different direction. These come down this way. These go upward. We were going to look back at the hollow designs. This would be how it would be done all the way through. The top portion, I only did the outside edge just to show you where you would block it. But with the ones on the bottom, I went all the way through it. And then if you're gonna color your necklace, 
I'm gonna add some details here. I colored it blue and I had some stripes and a shadow behind it. So now it's pretty much done. Or if we wanna go from a different direction, we could do that. Here's some more designs if we move them all over the page. And we can even do it onto our cubes, like what I've done here with flat letters, I've done here with my 3D. Thank you for watching Legible Graffiti. I hope you enjoyed the How-To Festival of 2023. Thank you. For more information on Legible Graffiti, you can come to my YouTube channel, and here are the links.